Hey, what's up guys? I got a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 here. I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot using the S Pen, okay? But really quickly, the other way to do it without the S Pen, where most people do, is the power button and volume down. You tap, press and hold both buttons at the same time, just tap them both, power button, volume down. Press them both at the same time, it takes a screenshot, okay? Do it again. You don't wanna press and hold. If you press and hold the power and volume down, the power off menu pops up here, okay? So you just want a power button, volume down, just tap them both at the same time, okay? Now in regards to the S Pen, let's say for instance, it doesn't matter, let's say I want to go and take a screenshot here. If you look on the uh, middle right side of your uh, tab, you see that little pencil right there? Just tap on that and then you want to go directly to Smart Select. And then from here, you can go ahead and you can, you know, if you want to go take a screenshot of this right here, just let go right that. And then you can go ahead and just tap down here to save it. Every time you save it, it's automatically going to be saved directly into your um, Photos Gallery. So if we go into, oops, here it is, Photos Gallery. And then you just want to go down to Albums, make sure Albums clicked, and you should have a new folder called Screenshots here. And you can see that last one I just took right there. Okay, now another cool thing too is, let me go ahead and open up a, uh, a browser here. And then I'll go ahead and tap on the uh, pen here, and then we'll go to smart select and then what I can also do is you know let's say I want to go ahead and screenshot just this right here and I can go ahead and let go and now let me uh, go ahead and allow that and now from here this is cool now you can see it says extract text or pin the screen now if I do extract text take a look at this it basically copies this photo right here I can go ahead and copy that right there and paste it somewhere else also let me go back here you also have this pin to screen. So if we do pin to screen, you can kind of multitask. You can have like this part up here and you can go uh, somewhere else. Maybe you're copying information from here to like an email or whatnot. Also, if you're up here, you know, you can move that around. Doesn't matter where you go. It's gonna be pinned to the uh, desktop here. Now also, if we go ahead and, we go ahead and uh, click that. Now this way here, it pops up. If we wanna save this, we can go ahead and just click the down arrow, just save it. We can minimize it or we can go ahead and delete it. If we want to go ahead and minimize it, we can just tap on that and it just minimizes like this, okay? And now from here, we can go ahead and actually delete it this way as well. We can go ahead and drop it right there and just remove it. If we want to open it, just tap on it and open back up. And then we can also uh, exit this way as well. So pretty simple. Any uh, questions or issues, just comment below.